Hi, my name is Letty Medina, and I'm going to share just a little bit of my personal witness about how I had a major conversion when I traveled to Medjugorje in 1997. Um, I married my husband, Chris, in 1992, and we were what I would call pseudo-Catholics. We would go to church most of the time, but not every Sunday. We were not living our faith as we should. And um, we ended up having a, a significant crisis in our marriage, three years into our marriage. And after going through some counseling and getting um, some help from, you know, medical professionals and, you know, counselors, I asked him if he would be willing to go to Medjugorje with me because my parents had gone in 1989 and I had seen their lives transformed radically after spending uh, a pilgrimage one week in Medjugorje. And I was deeply touched to see how much um, our Lord had changed them in that pilgrimage week. So I told my husband, if you would go to Medjugorje with me, I think that would be one of the final phases of the healing of our marriage. And I really just want to live a life um, of faith. And I want to raise our children to know the Lord and to know Our Lady and to be really faithful. So he agreed. And so we traveled to Medjugorje in um, July, August of um, 1997. And all I can tell you is that when I went to Medjugorje, I went with a wide, I always say, a wide open heart. And I had this simple prayer in my heart. And I said, Lord, I am I know, I'm pretty sure you're real, but I really need your grace. I want you to change me. I never want to go back to like the person that I was uh, living kind of a half faithful life. I want to be committed to you. I want to give my whole life to you take my heart and change it, Lord. Like I'm, I'm here to give my life to you. And I just really, really want you to, to change me. And the Lord is never going to say no to that kind of prayer. And so after one week in this little village in the middle of nowhere, between the mountains, my life was forever changed. I was completely transformed. I fell madly in love with God. I, um, it's not like I had any major like mystical experiences or anything like that, but he changed my heart and he grabbed it and he basically said, okay, you want to give me your life? I'm going to take your life and I'm going to uh, lead you forward from here on out and uh, bless you because you've said yes to me. And so I came back from that pilgrimage, a different person. Um, I felt like he had literally infused wisdom and understanding into me. I had a better understanding of the faith than I had ever been taught on my own because I had grown up in a family where we were basically Christmas Easter Catholics, Christers as I call them. And so after that one week pilgrimage, I came home. I was madly in love with God. I understood the need to follow him and to be really faithful, going to mass every Sunday, raising him, you know, raising my children up to him. And luckily, my husband and I have just celebrated 31 years of marriage. We continue to um, remain faithful all these years. We've had four beautiful children and all of them are practicing the faith and very faithful. Three of them have been to Medjugorje. Um, hopefully the last one, the youngest one is going to get there in the next couple of years. And all I can tell you is that um, it, it, it's just been an incredible gift to my life. Um, from that one week pilgrimage, I was so transformed that when I came back to the United States, I quickly found um, a, a daily mass. I started going to daily mass because I was just hungering for the Lord. Uh, I, I learned about Eucharistic adoration and I thought, well, if... I want to grow closer to him. I need to spend more time with him. So I went and signed up for a weekly holy hour and that I've been doing for 25 years. And that has been one of the greatest um, gifts to my life because he speaks to me, not audibly, but in my heart. He reveals things to me during that one-on-one -on -one time with him every week. And um, through that time of ongoing growth and transformation in prayer and the sacramental life, uh, he's called me to mission. And 
He had me start a teen ministry group, which helped to transform my, my children's lives and make them more faithful. He had me um, form a discipleship group with both men and women. He had me start a rosary group um, that really blessed some of my neighborhood friends and myself and our families. And lastly, um, I've now part of a, an apostolate called the Penitent Soldiers of Mary. And we literally meet every week for a holy hour and to pray for people who are suffering from spiritual affliction of all kinds, uh, who are in need of deliverance ministry or exorcism ministry, or uh, people who suffer from addictions, which we know can be devastating on so many different levels. And so my whole life, 25 years ago, I went to Medjugorje with an open heart, asking him to change my heart forever. He made good on that promise. Our Lady was behind it all because she called me by name to that little village between the mountains. And I have never looked back. I am forever grateful to Our Lady for being the mother that always draws us closer to Jesus and helps us to find fullness of life in him. And so I would encourage anybody and everybody, if you feel that longing in your heart for something more, something more meaningful, consider a pilgrimage to Medjugorje. And you don't have to go there to be transformed, but I can tell you, I know a lot of people who have gone there and whose lives have been transformed because they have gone. And I uh, just love talking about my, my own personal journey and how that one week pilgrimage changed my life. I've been back um, four different times since then and I always bring new people including my, my children. And um, I have plans to go back again with some other like relatives that have never been there. Always just asking our Lord and Our Lady to transform hearts and draw people to fullness of life in, in them so that we can journey together towards our true home in heaven. Thank you so much for listening to my personal witness and my love for Our Lady of Medjugorje. Thank you.